Dear student, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is support vector machine. This is the fifth video on this topic. In this video, I am going to explain the toy example for quadratic programming in which we are making the initial assumption about the support vector. Now let us start. Support vector machine is a quadratic optimization problem whose objective function is to minimize 1 by 2 square norm of the weight vector and subjective is that all points should be classified correctly. In my previous video, I already explained all these terms with derivation. So we will directly go for the problem. A quadratic function is a polynomial function with one or more variables in which highest exponent is of the variable is 2. Constant in optimization problem, SVM tries to minimize a quadratic objective function that is nothing but the squared norm of the weight vector. It is constant by linear inequalities that correct classification with sufficient margin. Lagrangian, Lagrangian dual formation. To solve this constant optimization, we use Lagrange's multiplier. The dual problem introduces a variable alpha associated with the constant. This transforms the problem into maximizing a quadratic function of alpha subject to minimize 1 by 2 square norm of the vector subject to classification correctly. Now this problem is represented by using this equation and then we require to take partial derivative with respect to w partial with derivative with respect to b and we require to put again that values into this equation and finally we get this equation. So this is the equation after taking the derivative with respect to b and with respect to w we are getting this is the final equation. So this is our final equation after derivative. So in my previous video I have already explained the derivation of this equation. Now once we find out this equation then we can go for the bias term calculation. If new unseen sample comes how to make the classification. So I will explain all these things with the example. Now two classes are given in each class four points are there. So these are the four points whose label is minus one and these are the four next four points of another class whose label is one. So we can take any one or minus one or minus one or one. So first class label is minus one and the second class label is one. The support vectors which are closest points to the decision boundary are one zero from class one. So we have decided that's why it is a toy problem because we have already decided 1 0 is a support vector and 3 1 is a support vector from the another class. Now we will solve the dual problem of the SPM using the kernel as the dot product between the features because the problem is linear. So uh, as the data is linearly separable so we are using the linear SPM. Now here as we are not taking all 8 problem 8 points into the consideration because we already decided that 2 points are the support vectors that is 1 point from each class. Therefore, our equations become summation 1 to 2 alpha i minus 1 by 2 summation 1 to 2 1 to 2 alpha i alpha j this is j y i y j x i x j and here condition is that summation of alpha i y i should be equal to 0 that is alpha 1 y 1 plus alpha 2 y 2 equal to 0 and alpha 1 value should be greater than or equal to 0. Now here our support vectors are 2 so we require to take the dot products in this formula so support vector first is 1 0 and next is 3 1 so we require to take the as this is a nested loop because when i is 1 j will go from 1 to 2 and when i is 2 j will go from 1 to 2 so here we require to take the vector this is the dot product so this is the single dot is present not double dot so this is the single dot so we are taking the dot product of x1 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 x2 and x2 x2 so 1 0 1 0 so dot product is always scalar value so when we take the dot product of x1 x1 we are getting 1 when we take the dot product of x1 x2 that is 1 into 3 that is 3 and this 10 so first we have calculated all the dot products of the vector but here we have not considered the 8 points but we have considered only 2 points for the simplicity so whatever the support points we have decided we are taking that points after we are putting the value into this equation so this become alpha 1 plus alpha 2 minus 1 by 2 then first when i1 and j1 at that time it will comes alpha 1 square here we require to take class so when 
i is equal to 1 and j equal to 1 so at that time our first class comes the which is minor which is minus 1 so if when the different classes are there then only our answer is minus 1 otherwise if same class is there our answer is always 1 so alpha 1 square into 1 plus when i is 1 and j is 2 and when i is 1 and j is 2 and when i is 2 and j is 1 so we are getting this product that is 2 alpha 1 alpha 2 minus 1 into 1 this is nothing but y by j then dot product of x1 and x2 which is 3 plus alpha 2 square 10 now when we solve this we are getting this is our condition constant equations are there alpha 1 y1 plus alpha 2 y2 equal to 0 it means that alpha 1 y1 is equal to minus alpha 2 y2 that is equal to alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 so as alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 we will put the same, same value so alpha 1 alpha 2 is replaced by alpha so here we are replacing and we are getting the final equation as 2 alpha minus 1 by 2 5 alpha square now here we require to find out the value of alpha so our aim is to take the derivative and equate to 0 so here only as alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 we replace alpha 1 alpha 2 by alpha and solve the equation and after that we are getting this equation l alpha is equal to 2 alpha minus 1 by 2 5 alpha square now we will take the derivative with respect to alpha when we take derivative with respect to alpha we will get 2 minus 5 alpha equate to 0 so we are getting alpha is equal to 2 by 5 therefore alpha 1 is also equal to 2 by 5 and alpha 2 is also equal to 2 by 5 so in this way we solve the value of alpha so i will explain once again first is objective function we require to write down this so ideally when eight points are there so this equation is for eight points but manually it is not possible to solve so we have decided already support vectors and we are taking into that consideration next is the compute the kernel so we are taking the kernel dot product uh, sorry support vectors dot product then dual objective function we have solved then we check the constant equation and from that we will come to know that alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 so we replaced by alpha then we are getting the equation after that we are taking the derivative equate derivative to 0 and therefore we are getting alpha 1 and alpha 2 now our next step is to compute w and b so from the derivative when we take the partial derivative with respect to w we have we got the equation w is equal to alpha i y i x i so as our two vectors are there so we have taken this then we are just putting the value so here alpha 1 is 2 by 5 our first class is of minus 1 and second class is of plus 1 so and we are putting the value of x1 and x2 so first support vector is 1 0 and second support vector is 3 1 so after calculation so these are the uh, minus 2 by 5 scalar value but this will multiply to this because this is a vector so minus 2 by 5 comma 0 that is first component and second component next we will get 3 6 by 5 and 2 by 5 and when we add we are getting the w component now next is the calculation of b so for b this is the equation y at w to x i plus b equal to 1 so here we can take any support vectors so there is no need to take all support vectors and do calculation so if i take the support vectors 1 0 whose class is minus 1 then that class is minus 1 then 4 by 5 is our support uh, support vector is a sorry uh, weight vector w is 4 by 5 and 2 by 5 so we are multiplying with this 1 0 so i have directly multiplied because this is also vector and this is also vector so dot drop there plus b equal to 1 so after solving this equation we are getting b is equal to minus 9 by 5 so simply here class y i is minus 1 we require to multiply our weight vector with the x i which is nothing but 1 0 or other we can take if we take the another support vector we require to take that class label then after solving this equation we are getting b is equal to minus 9 by 5 so in this way support vector that is w weight vector w and uh, bias b is calculated now we will check for any unseen sample for example the unseen sample comes as 1 minus 1 so we decide whether it belongs to the first class or second class so for unknown sample the equation is alpha i y i x i t x plus b where this b is nothing but the bias 
x is nothing but our unseen sample and here uh, we have two alpha and two support vectors so we require to take that so this alpha i is 2 by 5 first class is our minus 1 then first support vector class is 1 0 our record is 1 minus 1 so this is the first class label this is the first class support vector and this is nothing but our input so we are doing the multiplication then this is 2 by because both alphas are same then second class is our plus class that support vector is 3 1 this is our unseen sample and after that we are uh, using the bias and bias comes as minus 9 by 5 so after doing this calculation we are getting the answer minus 7 by 5 as answer is negative and our first class is also negative so label is also negative so this sample belongs to the first class now we'll see the second class now we take a sample in such a way that it goes to the uh, another class so it is not 1 minus 1 so we take the sample 4 0 so we require to follow the same procedure so first support vector first class then first support vector into unseen sample second sub uh, second alpha second class second class label then second class support vector into unseen sample minus bias and after this calculation we are getting the plus 7 by 5 so this value is positive so it belongs to the plus class that is nothing but our another class so if you see the diagram so this is the python program output and we can easily see that these are the two support vectors this is the decision boundary these are the margins and the weight vector we are getting 0 0.8 and 0 0.40 in programming and same we are getting by manual calculation alpha 1 alpha 2 they are getting 0 0.4 0 0.4 and we are also getting the 0 0.4 0 0.4 so in this way uh, this toy, toy problem is explained and in this way we calculate the alpha 1 and alpha 2 but ideally there are 8 alphas from alpha 1 to alpha 8 but manually it is very tedious to solve this problem so for simplicity we assume we make assumption that two support vectors are already there so we calculate just two alpha and because only there is a rule of support vectors to find out the margin and the decision boundary so that is all about the quadratic programming and i have explained with the toy program in this video thank you